Hey guys, Slice Walkthroughs here with another match tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up AirPrint on any printer connected to your Mac via USB or Wi-Fi. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way is go onto Google Chrome and look up Printopia. The link for the download will be in the description. This one you can get a free demo, but this costs around 15 to 10 quid or 20 dollars nearly. And basically this way is a lot easier to set up than the second way. So basically you'll just click download, do all the necessary downloads. If I just close that for a second and go on to your system preferences once it's all downloaded. And underneath the other section you will see Printopia. And I turn it on here and it's just set up my printer straight away. And now what I'm going to show you is if you go onto your iPhone and select to print. This is the options that you will see on your printer selection tool and as you can see it's really easy to use and it's really nicely laid out. Okay so now I'm going to show you the other way which is a bit harder. So let me just turn off Printopia and go back and go on back onto Google Chrome and go onto this website Netputing. Basically this one is sort of the same as Printopia and it's free so I'll put the link for the download in the description so if you don't want to spend 10, 15 quid or 20 dollars on software that's easier to use and just this one is pretty easy to use it's just you have to do a different bit after you just click this download link here the beta version and basically you do all the necessary downloads for that one and go onto your system preferences once it's all installed and under other you will see airprint activator so once you click that it will come up with please donate because it's free software and they want you to donate so they can make it better and you'll just press the on button if it's not already on but as you'll see no printers show up so basically what you have to do is you have to press the back button and go on to print and scan in your system preferences select the printers that you want to share and press share this printer on the network and now when we go back into the software after it's loaded up a bit go back into the preference panel as you can see it pops up this message every time and as you can see it says APL Dell 1355 at James Shopman's MacBook Pro and here is a screenshot of what this looks like when it's set up so basically I would say Printopia is probably better but it costs a lot more as you can see I bought it here I've got both of them but I use Printopia because it's more simpler to use and that is the tutorial for today please subscribe and check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter the links are in the description